Time now for Larry's Garden. Joining us now, our good friend Larry O'Neill. This hour, he is showing us how to get our tomato plants started. Larry, this is something you were saying everybody has. Everybody has. You know, I've gone, you know, all over the country and uh, drive around the whole city. I always see one bucket or a pot with tomato in it. Everybody loves tomatoes. But I was, you know, in Ace Hardware the other day, and I was just amazed at the variety. If you want really? tomatoes, they even have some heirloom varieties, uh, the indeterminate, determined, just a great selection at a reasonable price. Um, here's a here's a yellow tomato, mm. and uh, you know you got to determine which cut flavor you like. And, you, know, you can talk to the people in in the uh, nursery section, but it's a great plant. This is a plant around three to four inches. It's a perfect planting size. And how, you know people ask me, well, if I started with this, how when's it going to produce mm -hmm. fruit? It's going to produce fruit in around four to five weeks. And uh, you want to pop the plant out of the out of the container, and you want to check the root system. This one's perfect for planting. You know, it hasn't been uh, hanging there for a long time. You just crush out root mass up and you want to make sure when you plant the plant in the ground that you leave it about an inch high and then the, the next thing you got to remember mm -hmm. when you're planting them is prepare the soil and you know I know I hate to say here we go yeah <laughs> the black cow is the stuff to use the fish emulsion they have a great selection like you say at Ace Hardware you should just get a black yeah cow I know I just need to get a cow right in the backyard yeah, yeah. I don't know the neighbors may say something about that and this is a great I'm sure when you explain to them why though exactly exactly and I'll just pass tomatoes out it'll be all right but uh, this is a vegetable tomato this has all the uh, mixture it has a compost in it if you prefer just to get this all as one unit it and put it in your garden. You got to make sure also that you raise up the bed because you know we have in the spring oftentimes we'll get right. like last year we got like torrential downpours and they don't like a lot of water but they want the right amount. When you're watering your tomato you want to make sure you water around the base and it needs around two to three inches of water a week. Okay. And then a little bit of quick fertilizer to uh, some miracle Grow uh, tomato fertilizer to get it going. Then just follow directions on that. It's going to get big. It's going to, you know, it's going to start producing fruit. And you got to determine how you like your fruit. How do you like them? Indeterminate or determinate? And that's one of the questions you want to ask. You want the plant is going to produce all the fruit at one time, or produce over a protracted uh -huh. period. I like the indeterminate because you know you can harvest and make your salads and stuff. Here's an easy way. If you have a lot, you know, small patio, you can take this bucket, for instance, put a couple holes in it. Take your tomato support and put it in, in the ground. You're going to have to have something, or in your soil, you're going to have to have something, definitely, to support the tomato. And, you know, putting it in the soil is an easy thing to do. Just make sure you spread it out like that. Stake it in there as the tomato grows up, and it's got support. Some of the problems, some, oftentimes, you have tomatoes uh, with problems is you look at the bottom of the tomato, mm -hmm. and you notice a blackening in there. That's blossom end rot. And that's normally caused by either too much water or not enough lime. And you can take this lime, if you're making, preparing your bed, mm -hmm. I would put some lime out, okay? okay right. And this is about one pound per every 100 square feet. And this is gonna solve that problem. And then make sure you continue to water at the right rate. And also another problem tomatoes have is if you say you forget about watering, mm -hmm. and you go two weeks and all of a sudden you dump a lot of water on, yeah. you're gonna get cracking. Okay. You know, the cracking of the skin. Right. The inside's gonna grow faster, than the outside. So it's so not you, gonna catch up. Exactly, and that happens a lot of times with citrus. And, and when you're selecting your tomatoes, you can look on the types and the names and the varieties. And sometimes they'll list, it's a crack resistant. Some skins are tougher. Also, you can start with seeds. If that's like this one here is $2.59. Wow. And then watch it go. All right. Unbelievable. Thank you, Larry. Right. For more information about gardening, head to larrysgarden.com.